how can you get paid Coursera courses for free? What's up learners? In this video, we're going to take a look at two methods you can use to access and learn every course, specialization and professional certificates on Coursera for free. And also, are you someone who just pay for courses and end up not taking or finishing them at all? They don't go anywhere. I'm going to share with you a strategy you can use to avoid that on Coursera right at the end of this video. And please, if you are here and watching this video, please help me by sharing this video to your family and friends so they could benefit from the contents as well subscribe to my channel let's grow together and help you acquire more than in-demand test skills regardless of your background or social economic condition so let's jump in But first thing first, what is Coursera? Well, Coursera is a global learning platform that offers anyone, anywhere access to online courses and degrees from universities and companies. But let's get a little context or story behind Coursera. It was founded in 2012 by Daphne Collier and Andrew Yang with the vision of providing life transforming learning experiences to learners around the world. Today it has more than 82 million learners, 100 plus Fortune 500 companies, and more than 6,000 companies, businesses, campuses accessing its learning platforms. So it's a huge learning environment. Coursera offers four main programs. There are courses which are short and sometimes last for a week. And there are also specializations, uh, which are a series of courses joined together to form a particular specialty. It could be data science, software engineering, blockchain, etc. There's also professional certificates, which are also a series of courses joined together that are built by institutions or companies like Google, Microsoft, IBM, etc just to offer job ready skills to uh, professionals out there and there's also online degrees which are offered by universities like university of michigan in the usa or other universities across the world this sometimes a master's degree in data science software engineering etc why should you take courses on Coursera? well i believe you should learn on Coursera because of the following reason one applied learning if you're someone who thrives well or learn best by doing then Coursera is the right platform to you. Uh, you have access to quizzes, discussion forums where you engage with your fellow learners or mentors or tutors, get help from them, and also have access to labs within the course where you practicalize basically what you learn. And at the end of each course, you have the opportunity to also do projects. I, I believe that's a good way to learn. And that's how I learn best. So if you're someone who drives well in that, then Coursera is the right platform for you. Second, you also have access to world-class content from world-class institutions or universities around the world. And also you have content from companies like Google, Microsoft, IBM, you know, companies that are defining their industries. So you pretty much learn from these institutions with the expectations of having job ready skills. Well, there are basically two ways you can access and learn Coursera courses for free. One is by auditing courses and two is by applying for financial aid. Let's walk you through some of the processes involved in both of them. As you can see, we'll start off with uh, auditing the course. Uh, let's say we start with the uh, foundations of program management. This course is from Google. Here we are in the foundations of program management, uh, which is a uh, course that has pretty much good rating, 4.9. We have up to 35,000 people rating it. So for you to audit the course, uh, you just have to click enroll here. Then uh, you'll be given access to two things. One is a seven day free trial. We're not interested in that. Uh, what we're interested in is auditing the course. As you can see right here, audit the course. And if you just click audit. So basically when you're editing the course, two things you now get access to is um, the quizzes or the projects that you're supposed to work on before you're certified. And also certificates. You will not get access to, to that as well. However, sometimes our brains are just wired to make us feel good when we receive tangible evidence or representation of our accomplishments vis-a-vis -vis in this case a certificate so if you're someone who likes to you know get certificates and feel good about your, your achievement mind you let me, let me just mention the important thing here is the skills that you acquire not necessarily the certificates um, the skills will take you far and uh, certificate is just a representation of your achievement so for me whenever I'm attempting to take a course online the most important thing for me is uh, the skills that I'm going to gain not necessarily the certificate but if you want to get the certificate, then the next option for you is to apply for financial aid. Let's uh, look at the introduction to blockchain for financial services, uh, which is also a beginner course. As you can see right here, financial aid is available. For every course on Coursera, you always have access to applying to 
financial aid in case you cannot afford it so if we click on the financial aid you have a uh, notification here applications take at least 15 days to get reviewed yeah it's like basically two weeks so if you're okay with that then you continue to the application and um, mark you you can even apply for multiple uh, financial aids in, in different courses and uh, within that 15 day period all will get reviewed but as you can see from the form here we ask that every applicant shares accurate information on the application yes emphasizing on accuracy share information click agree commits to finishing their course their course definitely you cannot apply for financial aid if you are not sure if you're going to complete the course please type uh, the following sentence okay i agree to the terms above and continue then the next information you are asked of is your background information your educational background is up to you now if you're in college or high school let's just say college what's your annual income it's up to you to know your annual income you could easily say ten dollars or twenty dollars annual income will always be zero because you're not earning if you're a student uh, or even if you just graduated and yeah we try to a job employment status are you employed part-time full-time in this case as just a student how much can you afford to pay uh just say zero dollars cannot afford to pay for the course that's why we are applying for financial aid so why are you applying for financial aid so you have like a minimum of 150 words to show some of the reasons why you're applying for financial aid it could be maybe you're a student and you cannot afford it and um you just just want to um, have access to the course and learn the next box also how will taking this course help you achieve your career goals okay this is how you align the skills that you expect to learn from the course and your career goals as well would you consider a low interest loan for your course obviously no if no answer why then finally in the recapture where you just confirm you're not a robot and do some of your verification here then you submit your application after submitting your application you wait for 15 days and um, you receive response from uh, Coursera applied for financial aid for a specific course machine learning with Python and was approved you just go to the course and start learning how do you escape the habit of paying for courses and end up not taking or even finishing the course at all well for most people this is a mistake they do sometimes a course is recommended to them by a colleague or they come across a course and uh, straight away first thing they do is to pay for the course without even going through the course or studying it in detail sometimes looking at the ratings what people are saying about it or some of the skills that we've been gained from the course but on Coursera that will be totally be avoided what you do first is you just start auditing the course learn some of the contents and see if it fits your learning desire or goals or even learning style as well if it fits that then you continue learning as soon as you finish like 80 percent of the course you are now sure of finishing the course then you pay for it and finish the course and get certified so that way it will save you a ton of time and effort and plus money so yeah there's your tip and there you go jump in start learning start exploring Coursera start auditing courses and applying for financial aid in case you need help don't hesitate to reach out my handles are below you can reach out to me at any time and i will definitely respond and um, also dedicate some time learning at least 30 minutes a day taking courses online it will be really helpful for you start small don't rush into it you could even dedicate like 30 or 20 minutes a day practicing what you learn uh, which is pretty good you start from there and uh, grow as you go along and uh, yeah thank you very much for watching and uh, happy learning